These reference pipes are not ideal, but they're okay for showing the operation of the PCD TDS 100 series. When pu putting the sensors on, it's important to put the upflow sensor on. It's color-coded orange. This has to go in the direction of the liquid flowing through the pipe on the upflow. The blue one is the downflow sensor. Make sure they're at 90 degrees in case of turbulence or air bubbles in the top of the pipe. It will not affect the reading on your meter. Now we're ready to put the parameters into the meter for the pipe. We're going to do the outside diameter, which is ilm 11, and it's on our chart. Outside diameter for a one inch pipe is 1.125. So on the meter, we go to menu 11, and there's our outer diameter, and we, we enter 1.125, enter. Now we have the outside outer diameter, outside diameter at 1.125 same as our chart for copper tube. So, if we put the outside diameter in, it figures the circumference for us, which is M10. So we go back to M10, and there it is, 3.53, 1.125 times 3.14, which is pi, equals 3.53. That's what the meter told us. Next, we're gonna enter the wall thickness, which is on our chart, which is wall thickness right here, 0.050. That goes under M12.050. So on our meter, we go to M12. Right now we're on M11. So 11, 12. M12 is the wall thickness. We want to put in 0 .050. 0 .050. Enter. Now, since we have 0 .050 um, inside the meter, that will figure for us the M13, which is the inner diameter. So if we go down from M12 to M13, there it is, 1.025, and that's on our chart, 1.025, so it's done. Now we're using S1 sensors, S1 sensors, because our pipe size is between 3 quarter inch, this is 3 quarter inch, and four inches, this is one inch. So between three quarter inch and four inches, we want to use the smaller sensors, which are S1. Now that we've got our information about our uh, pipe or our tube, copper tubing into the meter, we're gonna go to the next part of selecting what type of material is the pipe. So we have to go, according to our book, we have to go to M14. We can use our down arrow to go M14, we are using copper, so that's what we want. Not PVC this time, it's copper. So enter copper, it's in. Now we're going to go to M16, which is liner. There is no liner in the copper pipe. Then we go to the liquid, M20, okay? We have water flowing through our pipes, or our tubes, copper tube. So we want to make sure it says zero for water. Now we're going to select our transducers type. So we go enter and we go down arrow till we get to S1. Standard S1, enter. Next we're going to select the method, which is the V method for this particular pipe, which is M24. So we go down to M24 and we don't want the W, so we enter and go down to V method. V method, select, enter. Now we have the V method. Since we have the V method, that will tell us the distance between the sensors that we have to maintain, which is M25. There's the distance between the sensors that we need. The meter tells us that we need to space the sensors 0.4375 we have a measuring ruler, so that's less than half an inch. So there we are, 0.4375. We're using the V method according to our pipe size, three quarter inch to four inch pipe, we use this method. The V method shoots a signal from our upflow down through the pipe, through our liquid to the bottom of the pipe and back up to our outflow sensor.
Next, we're going to go to M28, which is for poor signal. M28, we want to hold the poor signal. Always say yes. After that, we're going to M31, which is the flow rate. I'm measuring in gallons per minute. Now we're at M50, logger options on. This is collecting the data from the sensors going into your memory, which is the next step. M51, M52, M52. We want to make sure that the data direction is going to the buffer. The buffer is the memory that's collecting your data. Next we'll go to M60, menu 60, which is the date and time. Next we get to M90, which is time constant. The time constant on M90 has to be 100%, and the signal strength is uh, greater than 700, and the signal quality is greater than 60. This completes the instructions on the basic setup for the PCE TDS-100. This is the HS model for smaller pipe size, 3 quarter inch to 4 inch pipe.